Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to texture a piano chair with Keyshot's 3D paint. First hop on over to CG Trader and download the free model. Search for piano chair. Click this box to show only the free models. Download the FBX file. It's free but you need to be logged into download. Then we're going to download the textures on ambientcg.com. You don't need an account to download textures here. Download the one called Leather 31. Choose your preferred resolution. Unzip all files. You can delete these. Import the piano chair and key shop. First we want to change the background color. Double click the leather part on top to go into the material tab. And set the specularity to 0.5. This will allow the surface to reflect light. The specular for almost every material is 0.5. Also change this value for the two other materials. For the metal part also set the metallic to 1. Make sure the leather material is selected. If not double click on it. Now we can finally start painting. You will find everything you need for 3D painting in the textures tab. To activate the 3D painting feature select it from the texture drop down menu. Here are all settings you need for 3D painting but you can also make changes in the material graph. With the texture set to 3D paint we can already start painting. want to use the leather texture we downloaded earlier as color input. Here you see the preview with the current settings. But this doesn't look like leather. This is because the texture is repeated. We will use stamp instead to paint only one instance of the texture once we click. Also make sure to use the performance mode. Increase the brush size to get a realistic scale for the leather texture.
This does look better than before. But if we look at it from the side we see that the texture stretches over the edge. This is due to the large brush size that covers the whole object. With a small brush size we are able to only paint on the sides. This leads to another problem. Changing the size of the brush will also change the size of the texture. This is why we need the material graph for 3D painting. Double click to select the leather material. This will give us the same 3D paint settings panel from before. Now we need to set the leather texture again in the material graph with an image texture map. The settings for the texture can now be controlled without changing the brush size. The texture won't be affected by the size of the brush. And changing the scale of the texture works as well. Now we can paint on the sides. Back in top view we can use a real big brush that covers the whole object and paint everything at once.
we don't even need to paint on the sides anymore. This is because the mapping is set to box. So everything that is covered by the brush will be painted on from the direction the faces of the model are facing. This still doesn't look like leather. What we need now is to control the roughness of the painted texture and give it some additional bump. We can use the color as bump input. The bump won't show up until we activate the poo. You can control the bump strength in the material settings. Bumps and normal maps need to be set to negative values in Keyshot. Zero point one is enough. Now add the color output to the roughness channel and then a color to number node. Press C with color to number selected. Now we will only see the roughness. We want the creases to be really bright while making the rest light gray. Press C again. Let's have another look. This looks like real leather now. Thank you for watching part 1 of the tutorial. See you in the next one.